What's wrong, Rino? You look so unhappy. My name is Kaori Takamatsu. I'm 20 years old and I'm a university student. It was my friend Rino Mamiya who sighed loudly as she picks her soup with her spoon in front of me. Did something happen? It's not that. It's about you. Oh, I see. Something happened with your brother again? Rino has an older brother four years older than her. From what I hear, he is an excellent graduate student at the University of Tokyo. But Rino is always complaining about her brother, Ryu-san. Ah, I really hope he gets married soon. <laughs> You're very considerate of your brother, aren't you? Huh? No, no! My parents are old-fashioned, so if Ryu doesn't get married, there will be pressure on me to take over their house. I want to leave home. I don't want to take over their house. I see. I guess it's hard to have a lot of history in the family. But Ryu-san is a very talented guy, isn't he? I'm sure that there are a countless number of people waiting to be his partner. That's not really the case. Ryu is a bookworm and always stays at home. He, so he doesn't meet people. He does more research than dating. And the girls are usually turned off by him. He's the epitome of a nerd. Is that so? I have seen pictures of Ryu-san before, but the pictures did not give off that nerdy impression. Besides, I like books too, and I'd stay home if I wasn't asked to go out too. So I don't think it's that much of a negative factor. Really? Reno, whose eyes lit up at my words, leaned forward. Well then, you should be Ryu's girlfriend. And if it works out, marry him. What? I'd be more than happy to have you, Kaori, as my relative. And more importantly, I think you're smart so you'd get along with Ryu. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Don't worry, I'll convince you. So just one date, please. Rino puts her hands together and bats her head. Well, um, if Ryu san says yes, I'll go. Really? Yes! Then I'll set it up right away. From then on, Reno acted surprisingly quickly, and to my surprise, I ended up going on a date with Ryu-san over the weekend. Even if it's Reno's brother, I feel nervous when it's called a date. I was waiting for Ryu-san in front of the station where we were to meet. What's going to happen today? As I was getting anxious, I heard the noisy voice of Reno. I took and saw Reno walking toward us, pulling Ryu-san by the arm. Come on, quickly! Oh, sorry to make you wait, Kaori! No, it's okay. I just came a little while ago. Really? Then I'm glad. Uh, Kaori, this is Ryu. Ryu, this is Kaori. Ah, you're beautiful. Ryu-san, who had been introduced to me by Reno, was staring at me, blushed as he said this. Immediately after that, he realizes and begins to panic. Oh, um, I'm sorry my system made it difficult for you today. Um, but I feel bad letting you live like this after you came all this way. So maybe the three of us could have dinner. What are you talking about? This is the project of you, you, to stop being single. So you two go. Well, I'm gonna go home. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, what? Hey! Hey, Reno! Waving her hand at her call, Rito runs off. Awkwardness passes between us who are left behind. Well, since we're here, why don't we go to a cafe somewhere? Oh, yeah. yeah. I walked with Ryu-san to a nearby cafe that I know. Ryu-san looked restless the whole time, scurrying around and letting his gaze wander. Um, are you okay? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, I was acting suspicious. <laughs> That's fine, but why are you so nervous? I've never worked with a girl before, and I'm always doing research. So I'm always traveling back and forth between the university and home. It's been a while since I've walked around town, so I was nervous. Oh, right. You're doing research in graduate school. I hear that you have participated in several academic conferences. 
You must be very talented. At that, Ryuzen smiles a little shyly. Thank you. I'm very happy to hear that. Very heard that you were also the top in your grade. This is the first time your classmate has often taken my sister to win first place. You must be very talented. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm doing a good deal of studying. That's right. I'm still learning all the time too. With this conversation, we entered the cafe and sat down facing each other. We then drank coffee and discussed what he was learning and researching at the university. For me, everything Ryu-san talked about was new and enjoyable. Rito said Ryu-san sounds like a nerd, but he's interesting to talk to and gives me knowledge that I didn't know about. Plus, he's fun to be with. As we spent time together, my feelings for Ryu-san grew and grew. But because it was so much fun, Time flew by quickly. Shall we go home now? It's already this late, isn't it? I'd still like to be with him. Oh, yeah. You know what? There's a movie theater nearby. The one I just want to see ends today. So, will you go with me? I are. Yes, of course. Thus, we succeeded in taking you down to the cinema. Yes, we can still be together. And after watching the movie, that was a terrific recovery of foreshadowing in the second half. Yeah, that was great to see, especially the last part. We were so excited about the movie that we were even more reluctant to part ways at this point. Um, I still want to talk a lot about the movie. If you don't mind, why don't we have dinner and then go home? I'd like that. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. That night, Ryu-san ended up taking me home. And as we parted, we exchanged contact information. Since then, Ryu-san and I have occasionally exchanged messages. I've always been a little bad at exchanging messages. Oh, really? Well, actually, me too. I don't check my phone much to begin with. Me too. Ryu-san who said he was not good at sending messages, and I had the same timing and the right amount of frequency to send messages to each other. We didn't exchange many messages every day, but we were still steadily growing closer. Eventually, I became aware of Ryu-san as a man. Ryu-san seems to have a weakness for women, and if I don't ask him out, we won't make any progress. With this in my mind, I gathered up my courage and sent a message to Ryu-san. Ryu-san, would you like to go out in town with me again? I'd like that. When is it convenient for you? Let's see. Well, then... Yay! I can go out with Ryu-san again. And a week later? Is there anywhere you would like to go today? Um, not particularly. I just thought I wanted to hang out. I see. Well then, can we go where I want to go? Yes, where would you like to go? I thought we could go here. Saying this, Ryu-san showed me a smartphone screen with the image of a stylish cafe. I heard that the cakes here are really good. Kawari san you say you like sweets, right? Yes, I did. Perhaps, did you go out of your way to look this up? Yeah, I wanted to take you to a delicious cafe. Then Ryu-san smiled shyly. His smile made me fall in love with Ryu-san again. Thank you. Let's get going right away. Yeah. We walked side by side. A short time later, as we walked out into the back street, a man approached us. Obviously, he was a dog. Hey, hey, bro. You have a very pretty girl with you. She's not a match for you, so give her to me. Ah! Please stop! When I avoided the man's hand, Ryu-san stepped forward to protect me. What? Are you trying to find me? You look so weak. You think you can be me? Get out of my way! Watch out! What? Ryu-san, who thought the man was going to hit him, received his fist easily, to which I didn't expect. What? What is this power? The man tried desperately to shake it off, but he couldn't. 
Wow, Liu-san is more powerful than he looks. I've been looked and up and for a long time, and it was pain in the ass. So I took up karate. By the way, I'm still black belt in this. <coughs> what? When Liu-san let go of his hand, the man ran off in a hurry. That was awesome. You were so cool, Liu-san. Thank you so much for saving me. No, no. Well, let's go. Liu-san started walking with a shy smile on his face. As I walked next to him, I couldn't stop my beating heart. I love the fact that he doesn't show off his power, and I love the way he handles himself so calmly. Thus, I fell in love with Ryu-san again. We went on several days after that, but there was no action from Ryu-san. Then, one day, I was going to go to the drinking party at Reno's house. Hmm, drinking party at home is the best after all. Right. Sitting on the floor drinking around the low table in the living room was more relaxing than drinking at a Japanese bar, and I was more relaxed. And a few hours later, I got extremely drunk. So, I have fallen in love with Ryu-san. But Ryu-san hasn't said anything to me. And I wonder if I have a chance with him. What do you think as his sister? I see. Well then, it's quicker to ask him, isn't it? After saying this, Reno got up and came back dragging Liu Sang from the second floor. Here, I've made you wait. Liu, sit next to Kaori. Hey, hey! I quickly hugged Liu Sang's arm as he sat down next to me to stop him from moving. Liu Sang, let's have a drink together. Oh, Kaori san you're so close. Is that so? But we've been on a few days already, so why not? I mean, I've always wanted to ask you, what kind of relationship do you and I have? What? We've been messaging for about two months now, and we've even gone on a lot of dates. But you haven't said anything. Am I just your friend? Well, that's... Let me hear it from you properly today. I stood in front of Ryu-san and looked into his face. Okay, okay, calm down. It's not safe to stand in that position. I might see. What do you mean you might see? Oh, you mean my underwear? I don't mind it if you see my underwear. If you like me, please look at it as you want. Then I lifted the hem on my skirt. Just as he was about to see my underwear, Lucian grabbed my hand and stopped me. You're too drunk. I'll get you some water. I quickly grabbed Lucian's arm as he stood up. I won't let you go until you say you'll go out with me. Uh, um, are you being serious about that? Of course. I see. That makes me happy, actually. I've always wanted to go out with you, but I was too embarrassed to tell you. What are you ashamed of? I can say it again and again. I love you. When I hugged him tightly, Reno, who had been watching everything, clapped her hands loudly. Congratulations! You two are now officially lovers. I hope you guys can keep it going straight to marriage. <laughs> of course! I smiled and I made a peace sign.